Hey, hey guys. I can see my volume's working. That is good because I actually thought I was muted when I came on, but apparently I'm not. So that is good. Okay, just give me one second. I'm just going to share this over to my classroom and we can get going. Okay, so who caught my live earlier? Um, so yesterday I let you guys vote and I said we would recreate one of it's backwards one of the layouts from um the christmas album retreat so this was not the last one there was one more since this but um okay sorry one second Okay, that's done. Now I can move this out of my way and I can actually pay attention to myself. Okay, so I said you could pick between two layouts and we would recreate one with like an Easter theme. So it was like hands down, not even, um, not even close <laughs> to the second page, which I actually, I really like the second page. It's like a one page layout, but I know that most people really, really like two page layouts. So I'm not really sure which part of it that you guys really like this one, because there's much more technique in the second one. So um, we're going to recreate this one and we're going to make it Easter themed. Sorry, I was like running around right before trying to finish up something that I was doing. So I thought <clears throat> we would, um, we're going to do something different, obviously, because this one is Christmas and we're going to make it Easter. So, um, I'll talk a little bit about some of the things that they did on this layout. So obviously it's two pages. We had, um, a stitched stamp set. Like it was part, there was a specialty, um, stamp set for this one. Well, there always is. There's a stamp set made exact at like four album retreat and it had a stitch line, which was very similar to the one of the ones in the last one. They quite often do that because it gives you a great um, place to like cement things. It, so there's typically always like a stitch line. There's lots of little um, splatters or ink things. Um, this was the one from the last one. I really, really liked this one. So, um, I cut Cricut for what I'm going to recreate today, but what I was good, what I'll say later too, when I'm assembling it is that you could totally stamp and cut or thin cut to get other pieces for this. So, um, for this one, it was a mix and a match, mix and match of, um, there was gold die cuts. We did stamping, but was fussy cut. Then there was um, thin cuts, and uh, we used uh, stickles on them, and then stamping right on the background. So those were a couple of the things on here. Um, the wood grain paper, obviously, is super popular, um, and it kind of grounded everything right in the middle. So we're going to kind of create the same thing, but we're going to Easterfy it. I don't think that's really a word, but that's okay. We're going to use it today. So, um, and we're going to use a couple of different um, levels also, right? So I said to you that um, I Cricut cut some stuff. Okay, I'm going to make you bigger now, like on my desk bigger. So I went into the Daisy Meadow. So for whoever doesn't realize it, every time Close to My Heart releases a new two-month idea cycle, they've been releasing these little image sets in um, Cricut. So they're typically not very many um, designs, but they're meant to complement 
the theme of the paper pack that we already had. So they're a super nice price point. In Canada, they're about $13.50. I think they're $9.99 in the States. And they come with, I would say, 10, 10, 10 images. Um, sometimes there's a layout in there. Um, and so I think Daisy Meadows had a layout, like a two-page layout, a card, and then some images. So <laughs> I cut out lots of the images. So the bunny was too cute to resist. So this is how I started this layout because I knew I wanted to use the bunny. So, and then the colors that I picked out, the colors that complement Daisy Meadows because I knew I was gonna do Easter and it just makes it super simple. So I've got cinnamon. I went with ballerina instead of peach because I liked the ballerina with Daisy Meadows more than peach and then obviously white. And then we've got some more things that I'll talk about as we go. I grabbed the PML cards because I'm gonna use one in the journaling spot. And then I have the paper obviously, and I have a sticker sheet that we're probably gonna pull from to get some different um, levels of dimension. Okay, so I think first thing we'll do is we're gonna glue our bunny together. The other, um, Cricut pieces, I glued them together because you guys don't need to watch me do that. Because um, some of them were like, so some of them were just two levels, two layers, but some of them were four layers. Now, you could totally adapt this shape so that it's not four layers. So, for example, this is canary, and then under there is cinnamon, and then the ballerina, and there's a white layer in there. And it creates, it makes it look three-dimensional, even though it's not. But you don't have to do all those layers if you don't want to. So let's glue, so I glued those together because there's like, I cut a whole pile of flowers and um, there were lots of layers. So like I said, you didn't want to watch me do that. So we'll glue our bunny together and I'll keep on talking while I'm going. So like I said, I grabbed some PML cards too, the ones that coordinate. And I think we are going to, I think I'm gonna fussy cut this egg. And then like I said, oh, here comes Emmy right on schedule. I think it's cause she hears me talking to myself and she thinks something exciting is happening in here. So, I'm just going to attach it to my next layer down. Okay, and guys, I have to tell you. So I cut these and then I started cutting some kits for customers and I realized, oh, my blade, I need to change my blade. Okay, seriously, change your blade on your Cricut. It is awesome. It makes such a difference. I didn't really realize, but I noticed when I was cutting them that I was getting like little snag marks. So I um, knew it was time to change my blade. So just like you're on your trimmer, right? But, okay, so then, like I said, I have cinnamon. Okay, so I used, um, I pulled Sundance, Canary, I like I said, Ballerina because I prefer it. I've got some Peacock Accents. Um, this is a piece from the Daisy Meadows. Um, what other colors do I have here? That might be it. Oh, I have one, I have do have some Glacier and then, so for the background I went with a Glacier and I'm gonna use the light side of Glacier. Okay, and we're going to make this bunny sparkly just because I can. So that's why I wanted to assemble him first. So oh, look how cute he is. So I'm going to take my clear shimmer brush and I'm just going to paint him. And I'm just painting the white parts. You could paint all of him. 
or you could use um, the white glitter paper. But I just wanted him, the only, like him to be sparkly. I thought it was very appropriate that we're doing an Easter themed layout on Good Friday. And uh, so when I asked everybody if they wanted to vote, I also asked them if today would be better or tomorrow. And it was also an overwhelming Good Friday. So I'm just spreading the clear shimmer brush on him. And I know it's probably not going to pick it up in the camera. But it just, he just has a nice um, listen to him. Also, if they hadn't cut out the cheeks, I would have probably um, inked in his cheeks just to give him a little bit more of a rosy color. So it's just as easy as literally painting it on like a paintbrush. If you um, make sure though that you're shaking it because all your glitter will settle. And if you need a little bit more liquid, gently squeeze it where it says push and it'll just um, push more of the liquid into um, the brush. So it works kind of like a water brush, but a little bit differently. Okay, so that is totally an awesome detail. He looks awesome. So I thought I would do this first so he could dry while we put the layout together. Oh, you guys, he's super cute. I'm glad I did that. It'll show up in the picture. So um, I'm going to add just photo spots on here for um, assembling and then I'm going to take photos on purpose this weekend to fill my journal, my um, photo spots. Okay, so let's just assemble the background and get that out of the way. So I have, so instead of the stitching line, I thought I'm gonna take a little piece of the peacock and I've cut it just like a quarter of an inch and I'm going to add that to the top and the bottom to ground the layout because I cut out this frame, which is part of that image set. And the bunny's going to sit on top of it like this. So I thought that the peacock on the top and the bottom would ground it nicely. So I have Sundance. Oh, I need my reverse mat. I uh, typically always have one on the table, if not both of them. Okay. So I am using the lighter side of Sun Dance. I There are lots of colors where I much prefer the lighter side. So I also, like I said, I have the light side of Glacier down too. And I'm just going to center this and then add my piece of Daisy Meadows on top. And when I do, so I'm replacing the flowers, like the poinsettias with the spring flowers that match Daisy Meadows. And I think I might fussy cut out a few eggs and add them into the sprigs for just another dimension, but we're gonna see. Okay. So then I'm just going to add this on the top of the bottom. And so it's just replacing that um, stitch line and I could have done the same thing obviously I could have added a stitch line or you can even do it with a journaling pen but I thought this kind of ties everything together nicely so one at the top 
and one at the bottom. I also think one of the reasons probably everybody likes this layout is because there's um, large photos on it, right? So it's like my workshops, right? So um, they're all um, standard size photos or an easy croppable photo, right? So on this layout, there's two four by sixes, a three by four, uh, a four by four, and um, a two by two, which is a little bit harder. Um, but you can either add it to, okay, I'm gonna do the other side exactly the same way now. So I'll just put this underneath. Um, you can use, um, for little tiny photos like two by twos, I use um, the Picture My Life app. But you can also just add them to a canvas. You guys have seen me do in PicMonkey where I print on an eight and a half by 11. You can add a two by two onto there. Okay, so all I did for today, like I said, cause I'm gonna purposefully take my photos this weekend for my layout, sorry about the autofocus, um, is I just added um, photo mats on there. Okay, and quite often you guys will even see when I use the photo mats, I just leave them and I cut my photos like an eighth of an inch smaller because I like that. And I really thought about it for a long time today whether I was going to add twine or not to the photos and I decided not to. Gotta tell you, it almost killed me, but okay. I thought there was probably enough going on in this layout. They didn't need twine as much as I love it. Okay, so now our two sides look the same. We're just gonna add, again, the peacock to the top and the bottom. So with a really small amount of paper, it grounds everything else to your page so that they don't feel, things don't feel like they're floating around without I mean, it would be totally fine without it, but it kind of will, I, if you watch, pick up the peacock on the rest of the layout. Oops, that's upside down. So, um, like I said before, the reason that I decided to do um, an album retreat layout was because album retreat is back up for sale. So this is the May one now. And okay, so let's see how they look together. Ta-da. If you're really fussy, you can make your plaid match, but there'll be a gap in the middle of my layout, so I'm not really overly worried about it. Okay, so I'll show you again. We'll look at the placement. So, right, we've got the four by six on this side, a three by four, a four by six, a four by four, and a two by two. So we're adding back in those same pieces. So, and then these go on this side. A three by four and a four by six. Okay, so then, like I said, I cut out this element and I want it to go like right here. Okay, and then my bunny is gonna sit on top of this. I think we might fussy cut this out and put it behind her or him just like that, to add another kind of um, element. Then, so I just have cut some sprigs and flowers to kind of resemble the same kind of thing that we had going on on the side, right? So here, obviously, these were the poinsettias and stuff. They were 
Christmas themed. I have a little piece that's dovetailed that I'm going to add down here. Not quite sure just on placement yet. Okay, so then I did a fun little thing because just like the bunny, I wanted just a little bit of subtle glitter. So for these little branches, um, I cut them out with the dreamy holographic paper and we're going to just tuck them in for a little bit of um, sparkle. Okay, so then I have this flower, okay. And then I have some single leaves that I will just kind of, I'm just gonna place things down. I'm not sure this is how they're gonna stay. But I just wanna kind of figure out Okay, so here I wanted to use, so like I said, I grabbed the Picture My Life cards and I pulled out a journaling card. So, they had just um, little journaling strips like this. So these were just like three eighths of an inch journaling strips, but I wanted a journaling card there. And I can cover part of it up if I'm worried about not having enough space, or I can move my photo up. Okay, so that's kind of how I envisioned that. And then I have another grouping for the other side. And I have another um, dovetailed piece to stick out from behind this photo. I have a feeling I'm gonna have to move this up here a little bit because I've got more stuff for on this side. So I want to place my biggest flower first because it's gonna take up the most room. Oh, thank you, Janice. So then I have the holographic pieces for this side too. I'm just going to leave them off camera for right now. But I think this is kind of how I was envisioning it. Okay. And then we will add some. Then I have one branch that's a little bit bigger that is the same little peacock color. And I actually think I might put that one over here. Okay, and so I just kind of throw my pieces down and then I can figure out if I need to move anything around. Okay, so then I will figure out what I have to lift up on foam tape and what I'm going to adhere flat. Oh, here are the other leaves. So I have these two leaves here too. And I might go like this. And then I'm going to, I think, pop this up on 3D foam tape. Like that is how I'm thinking. Okay, so then I'm gonna start adhering things down so I can keep tucking things in, okay? So I'm gonna start here and here because I want these two things down before they go flying away. And I could probably adhere all of this here down. Okay, I'm gonna glue this down because then I can actually add the adhesive to the bunny up top. And I'm, I'm positive now I'm gonna fussy cut out that um, PML card because I like the way it looks. 
Okay, so then I'm going to glue down my four by six. Here. Okay, and I'll lightly tack down this in case I need to move it. I'm going to look for some sticker to add up to the top here too. Okay, so let's glue this down so it stops moving on me. A great configuration of photographs too, right? Um, if you had more photos, you could also add um, flip flaps very easily to this layout. I also have wooden heart here on my desk and I'm gonna try and decide if I wanna add that in the clusters along with maybe some silver embellishing thread. And the PML card, if I wanted it the other direction, I could totally do that. So, obviously, too, I mean, I think that you guys are starting to get the hint, because I, I keep saying it, I've said it all month. No different than one of my workshop files, right? You can take the files from an album retreat and recreate it, obviously, and you would never know it's the same thing. No different than um, the other day when I recreated uh, my extravaganza class, right? With the party time paper. Um, at the end, nobody is going to realize that this is the same as that. Um, holiday album retreat layout. Like just wait till we look at it at the end, right? Okay, so I want this in here like this. And and see too, think of your products. Not necessarily does a picture my life card have to be a picture my life card, right? You can turn it into an accent. It doesn't have to fit into the pockets. I use them on my scrapbook pages all the time. Uh, I use them in workshops all the time. They um, are great for adding a little bit of something. They have great um, titles on them. I'm trying to think. So with the two workshops right now, the recent ones, I'm not sure that I use them. But quite often I do. Like Summer Vibes, I use the PML cards. Sometimes it's just totally depends on how I'm feeling when I go to design. And um, so the All the top secret stuff I can't talk about right now. I think I used them. So I don't know if anybody saw my sneak peek yesterday, but like how cute is that, right? Okay, so I'm just trying to decide. I think I'm for sure going to pop her up. She, I think, almost needs a little bow too. Hmm. But I didn't grab any ribbon. Okay, so let's start with 3D foam. So the fun thing about adding different la layers, right, is then you can tuck different things in depending on um, what you want to use. Okay, so for this one, I'm going to add the thin 3D foam tape and I'm going to put her on thick 3D foam tape and I'll put it all the way around, but not underneath probably where the thin 3D foam tape will be. So just because you see something one way doesn't mean necessarily it has to stay that way. 
So, oh, so I was starting to talk about um, my sneak peek the other day. So all the National Scrapbooking Day bundles are up. And um, in the bundles, as always, there's exclusive content. And um, so I am working on, you guys all know I did... Um, the alternative workshop for We Are Good Together, which was the VIP workshop. So I'm doing the next one in the series, and I'm going to take the cheerful humor, and um, I'm going to create an alternate workshop with it. So there'll be cards but they're so fun and the paper is so colorful. I can hardly wait to play. So, and then I actually have another workshop for everybody that stocked up during Cardstock Carnival. I've got something coming for you. A great way to use your cardstock from that. So, I'm just about finished it, but this will be my last live for this weekend, I think, because it's Easter, so I am taking Sunday off. Okay, so there we go. Does anybody have exciting Easter weekend plans? We are still very low key here because we're still in partial lockdown. Things have lightened up a bit, but not very much. Oh, how cute is that? Oh my goodness. Okay, so Maybe we will just finish with this cluster over here so I can move some stuff around. So I'm going to, I think I'm going to put this one on thin 3D foam tape. And I'll tuck the leaves behind just on, with regular adhesive. And um, because there are lots of layers of um, cardstock, it is super cute, stinking cute, I like to say. Anybody that listens to me teach in um, creative collaboration hears me say stinking cute all the time. I actually probably say it here all the time too. Okay, so I'm going to go right there. So I'm anchoring it around the photo. I just want some silver embellishing thread and I'm going to show you why because um, one of the things that we did on that other layout that I'm going to bring into this one too is we just did little dots with stickles. Um, that was the one of the gold stickles though. I'm going to use silver stickles. So I just want to tie in the silver. So I might also add it in here. So I'm just unrolling it. And um, I want it textured, so I'm not going to unkink it or um, like take the um, folds out of it. So just wrap it around my fingers and play with it till I get it the way I want it. And then I'm just going to place it on a glue dot. Okay. 
and then tuck it in. Okay, so I'm going to add it down there. Okay, so now I'm going to tuck in with just a little bit of adhesive my leaves because they're flat. And where it's overlapping my photo, I want to be able to tuck my photo in so there's no adhesive on the top part of that leaf. And if I feel, once I put my photo down, that it needs more adhesive, then I can totally um, tuck it in. I tuck, like add some adhesive to it. Okay, on this one, I'm gonna do flat too. Okay, and then this one's gonna go up on 3D foam tape. These fl these flowers, I will tell you, were a little bit of a challenge to put together. I couldn't, <laughs> I should have made them so that, um, because these two are just slightly off from each other. So uh, it took rolling around the cardstock a few times to get them in the right direction. Okay, so we're gonna do that there. Thank you. Yeah, because they're um there's not much in them, but so I'll say so this image was an image onto itself. These flowers were on the layout though, and I pulled them off the layout. Same with um, one of the branches, for example, was on the layout. So I took the layout apart and used the pieces that I wanted. Um, the layouts are fine, as is also, right? But I wanted um, it to look different. Oh, no, I lost my leaf. It's okay. We got it. Okay, so I need to glue this down under. Yeah. I like the, okay. So the one thing I'm going to say about the image sets, I like the image sets because they are little and they're not like when our um, cartridges were so expensive. And if you have then little bits of Daisy Meadow left over after you're done creating your workshop or your scrapbook pages, you can still... Um, use it so or you could cut that out with different Easter paper right I'm trying to decide I don't know if I like that one over there that might be a good spot to do my dots and I find that they're um, not very expensive for everybody so if there's collections that you really like the stickers for, those would be the ones that I would um, gravitate to, right? Okay, I'm not going to, I'm going to do something with this leaf. I'm just not 100% convinced yet where I'm going to put it.
Okay. So let's, because we also have these little, I, and I, oh, I love the little glitter. So, because it's the holographic paper, it's, they're just nice and subtle. So these are going to get tucked in and then I'm going to forget to tear them down. Just watch. Okay. So, and they pick up the cut, the holographic paper picks up the color of whatever it's beside. So I did use dreamy, which seems to be my go-to one out of all of them. So, okay, we're going to just move that over and we're going to glue down this cluster. So the other thing I did think was, I'm just going to see if I like this. Um, I'm just going to fussy cut out. One of the eggs. I don't know. We're going to leave it there and I'm going to see how I feel about it. Because I'm not convinced right at the moment. No, that's, that decision is made. Okay, so let's start putting this side together so that we can do some of the last little embellishments and you guys can go and enjoy your Easter. Okay, so again, I'm gonna tear the leaves down flat. Just like that. Okay, but I want my embellishing thread. And you know what, that might be what that little space needs right there. I know I have it on the other side, but I feel like that could be what I'm missing there. Okay, this one's going up on 3D foam tape. And actually, so I'll tell you, I almost decided to keep the, and um, so the wood that was in the middle here, I almost made the background wood where I have the light glacier, but I decided to go with just cardstock instead. But that would have been really cute too. I was thinking like one of the um, whitewash wood grains would have been really nice as a background. That's one of my favorite paper packs from the annual. Love the wood grain. Okay. So this is going flat. It's coming together quite nicely, considering we started off with a Christmas layout. I'm pretty happy.
So there will be no Easter egg hunt, but we will be having Easter dinner. So I'll take pictures when my daughter and her boyfriend are here. Everybody in my house is doing lots of school this weekend. So, but it was funny because on my um, personal page, I posted a memory from a year ago this morning. And um, it was pictures of Emmy, of course. But um, there was, we got a snowstorm. And then actually it was funny because I don't even know what made me look. But um, there was also a memory from six years ago. And um, there was another snowstorm. So um, I'm happy to say there is no snowstorm today. And this is what I need to, over there. Um, not that it's super nice outside, but I'll take it over a snowstorm. So my birthday is in April. And quite often, sometimes we can have like a crazy snowstorm. And sometimes my birthday can be Easter even, but not this year. Okay, so, so I'm in Winnipeg, Manitoba. So if you're in the States, I'm right above North Dakota, like right above two hours. Um, I'm just two hours north of the border. right in the center of Canada. Okay, I know this is gonna look funny for you guys, but I need it. Okay, so Jill, where are you then? You, Judy, have three Easter birthdays on average, or I do? I think your birthday's in April, too. And my husband and I have the same birthday. So, um, different years, but the same birthday. So, when it hits Easter, it's like, it's a big, huge, a lot of stuff on the weekend. And then, um, I have a sister's whose birthday is Earth Day, and then my other sister is two weeks after her. Ah, do near Duluth. Okay, yep. Yeah. You are then just south of me. Um, yeah. So we're all like. Growing up, we were all two weeks apart, right? So it was, ah, the, Judy says her twins are at the end of March. Um, so it was like birthday central always. So I had my birthday and then my baby sister's birthday. And then two weeks later, my middle sister. So... This will be another round of quarantine birthdays, but hopefully not next year. Okay, so I'm happy with that. We're going to stop touching it. Okay, and I've got everything glued down here except for these. And I'm going to add a little twine into that cluster. Then we will add some more embellishments because we can. Okay, so there's the Daisy Meadow dots. And... I also grabbed the silver um, sequins. So 
But I think, okay, okay. So we have three little of the holographic little branches to add over here. Oh, and look, I have one more leaf here on my table. Okay, I will say we do not have cold winds right now. So, um, but we did have earlier this week, crazy winds. We actually had like, knock on wood, a really um, good winter. Hardly any, I don't know if it's good or bad. You could look at it either way. Um, we had very little um, snow, very few storms, and it was quite mild. So that's my kind of winter. Um, I wasn't born here. Well, I was born in Canada, but I wasn't uh, born here. So I am not used to well, I am used to, I don't like the winters here. There we go. That's how I'll say that. Um, so if I could live somewhere milder, I would for sure. But both of our families are here. That's why we came back here. Oh, I'm sure it is. I don't, uh, yeah, I'm so not a winter person, but, <laughs> oh, well. I just stay hauled up and I make videos about scrapbooking. There we go, and create workshops. So, okay, we're getting close. I need to put some embellishing thread here though. And then we'll figure out how we're gonna finish this off. I don't wanna put a ton there. I just want it in a third spot, right? So I've got it in each of the clusters just a little bit. My husband's a skier though, so he doesn't mind the winter at all. But it could, we don't have skiing here. Well, we do, but not like big skiing, but the next province over are the mountains, but they couldn't go this year. So, so they went ice fishing instead of this winter, which they had never done before this year. So everybody is making the most of keeping themselves busy. That's for sure. Okay. So I just want that tucked in there. Okay. So, I'm going to do this now, I think. So like I said, I wanted to put, I wanted to do the same thing with the, um, okay, so I have one wood heart. Don't even ask why I only have one, but I was doing something. We're gonna get a shimmer brush. Okay, that's actually a wooden button. So it's one of the buttons. And I have the Peacock Shimmer Brush. And so we're gonna paint the button. And I need to give it a second to dry. So we're just going to paint it and set it aside. So this one obviously has much more pigment than the clear one that we um, colored the bunny with.
And, okay, we're gonna put, oh, guys, I flipped it upside down. That's oh, okay. Um, okay, and then we have a little piece of ballerina that doesn't belong there. Okay, so let's see if we have any more hearts in here. So in the buttons, there were hearts and like button buttons. And then there's the wood hearts also. So I also have here, maybe we'll use these ones. So I have, I just saw them. I think that's too big. I don't want that big. I want like at most medium size. But I think I'm going to make them all. Now I can't see where that one went. I have another one that's got stickles on it. Which I also could have done. Hmm. Oh, there. That's a good size. Hmm. I need to decide. Okay, I'm going to leave those there. I like, I don't want to cover up the flower though. So I think the one that goes here, I want small. So I might use the one. You guys are probably like, oh my goodness, just decide already. It doesn't matter. That size is the one that needs to go there. Okay, so now I've made a big mess here. Okay, there we go. Okay, and then Yes. And Okay, I think that's what we're going to do. Okay. I think that the um, peacock shimmer brush is too dark. So I'm going to add diamond stickles on top so that it'll look just like this. Okay, and then I have my silver stickles. Okay, so I'm gonna adhere these down just with the glue dot and then I will do my stickles on top and I could do that off camera or something so you guys don't have to watch me okay and then my heart one here and I'm putting it just above my flower so the wood just kind of adds another texture in here.
Okay. I'm happy with that. I will move those. So I'm going to add the diamond stickles. Do you know if there's still a workshop available for consultants? So, um, not the fall one. So the May one is now. I've actually been lucky enough to attend album retreat in person. And um, so how many times? Three times in person. So I earned it once. Oh, no, only twice. I earned it once. And then um, I went on a trip to a Jan the January one once. So they don't sell old um, album retreats that I know of. I've never seen them. So those will look different when they're dry. They'll take on a nice um, white glisten look. Okay, so I'm going to add my silver stickles, and then we've got to be careful. But I think we're almost done. You did January? Yeah, so the Christmas one was uh, in October. It was in the fall. It's hard to um, to decide sometimes about album retreat because um, it's a lot of pages. Thank you, Gay. Um, so actually, the Christmas one I almost didn't do because. We had a lot of Christmas stuff, and then um, it was a full album of Christmas layouts. But for me, because I teach and design workshops, it's good for me sometimes to do somebody else's something because money is definitely an issue. It's sometimes people have a hard time taking the whole weekend to do it. Right, because it is, it's a lot, um, it's intensive. Like they are, you work the whole time, even virtually. Like it, there is a lot, um, you're moving at a fast pace. So um, it's definitely not for everybody. But it's it's expensive here too. Ours is almost, I think ours is three seventy one. I want to say, um, which is expensive. So, and you can't do it all. Definitely. So. Okay, so I'm just adding little stickles dots. You kind of finish it off. And the fun thing about the stickles is they will look very different um, once they're actually dry. Oh, and I need to put my two stickers in too. Okay, so I'm going to stop doing that for a second. And then we're going to add a sticker here. So I think I'm going to do this sticker.
So I just took my um, anti-static pouch and took off some of the um, adhesive off the back, some of the stickiness off the back. Okay. Oh my goodness. I almost put it on there upside down. Don't do that. There we go. And then I want a sticker at the top. Oh, I think we should make her Put a little sticker in her hair, a flower in her hair. I mean, well, not really her hair, I guess. Fur. Okay, so we're getting to the end of this. Okay, so what do you guys think we should do next week for our lives? I always have ideas, but if there's something you guys want me to do, oh, that's very cute. Okay, so I still, I haven't actually done what I came over there to do, but let's just see. I think I'll do that one. So earlier in the week, we did the um, gift card holder, the Z Fold gift card holder. So, and there's a sheet for that. If you guys want it, just comment fold and I'll add it. I'll show those again at the end in case you missed them. Okay, so with this sticker, what I'm doing is I'm trying to connect all the things up here, and I'm going to add a little flower from here, from the sticker sheet. So, and then I'll add one over here. I think... Oh, or a little heart. There's one heart here, and there's a heart three hearts. So I could add the blue heart up there. Okay. Okay, and then, so I'm gonna put a heart here. And I think I'll make it, no, not that one. Because I think I want it right there. So for the rest of the weekend, I'll be working on some of that cheerful humor and um,
I'm just not 100%. I know. I love Daisy Meadows too. I absolutely love it. So I'm trying to decide if I want to use any more of these stickers in here. Um, no, I don't think so. Guys, I might be done. The only thing I might do is um, I might change the color of the stickles on my buttons, but I'm not 100% certain yet. So I think that's it. Okay, so we're gonna do our compare and contrast because I'm gonna show you guys the, the I, the bunny, I could hardly wait to cut him. Um, and I really wish you guys could see, but that shim, that clear shimmer brush on him makes all the difference in real life. When I take the photos, oh, you could see it a little bit there. When I take the photos of the layout, you'll be able to see it because it'll um, get caught in the light. Okay. Because I don't think I want to add, I was thinking about Daisy Meadow dots, but I don't think I want to add them. I think we've got enough going on here. Okay, so let's do our compare and contrast. So I think you guys picked well. This was our original. So this was from the fall album retreat. And you guys, I let you vote. And so I picked up some of the things Right, so I did the clusters, I did the piece in the middle with the border around it. Instead of the stitching, I tied it in with just the little piece of peacock. We did the stickle dots. I didn't do the stickles on the flowers because there were four levels of flowers. I don't think you need the stickles on them the same way it gets used in this. So this is to like draw definition onto these poinsettias, right? And I don't think we need that on this. That's why I didn't do it. Um, yeah, so we changed out the journaling box because they had strips. I wanted to use one of the PML cards. We fussy cut out the PML card. We added in, um, Cricut pieces, and I think it turned out quite beautiful. I've got um, anti-static powder on there. So that's what I've got for you guys today. If there's something you would like to see me do next week, you could comment below. I'm also going to, okay, I'm just gonna touch these on top of each other, but no, no shimmer, uh, no um, stickles touching each other. Okay, so earlier this week, I taught these two cards. We did the, um, the Z Fold gift card holder. So if you don't have the sheet, ah, thanks, Janice. Um, there'll be finished photos. I'll put them, I will post finished photos too, so that you can see everything the way it is. Thank you, sweetie. Um, so if you did not grab the sheet and you want the sheet for the Z Fold gift card holder, um, just uh, type fold and I'll send you in the right direction. So we did a birthday version and don't forget to decorate your envelope. It always looks cute. And so you can open it up like this and you slide your gift card holder in there. And then I did a Easter version with the same little bunny. And this uses PML cards too. 
So, um, and then this was our second lie for this week. And I love the way this turned out. I'm super happy. So I, like I said, I was surprised that that's the way you guys voted because I thought for sure the other layout was going to uh, get more votes because it is more of a um, technique based layout. But um, yeah, I'm glad you, cause I totally didn't think, I thought for sure the other one would win. That, there you go, how do I, what do I know? Sorry, um, but she turned out very cute, I think. So I will, um, when we get some sunshine, it's a little overcast at the moment, but when we get some sunshine, I will take some photos and um, I'll also show you once I have my own photos printed and my journaling in because it's all about documenting. So I hope you guys have a great Friday and we will talk to you later. Bye bye guys.